According to Ipsos polling done exclusively for Global News, 86% of respondents are concerned Canada will face a recession in the next year. That figure is for November, up three points from the previous month. Meanwhile, 71% are concerned interest rates will rise faster than they can adjust, up four points from October. More than half, 53%, say they are worried they might not have enough money to feed their family, an increase of nine points since October. We're seeing quite remarkable and significant changes in such a short period of time. And I think that's what's really noteworthy about this poll. Um, Canadians clearly have uh, heightened anxieties over uh, the potential for a recession, uh, over uh, interest rates, uh, over high inflation. And as a result, we're seeing uh, dramatic changes uh, even since October. For example, uh, 48% are worried that they might get in over their head when it, with holiday spending. That's up 15 points uh, in a month. Uh, 61% are worried that they might not be able to afford gasoline. That's up 13 points uh, in a month. 53%, and th- this is a quite a startling s- statistic, 53% are worried they might not have enough money to feed their family. That's up nine points since October. So very uh, significant uh, changes in public opinion. And that's despite the fact that actually inflation is coming down a little bit. I think we've kind of passed the peak, but we know that interest rates are continuing to go up. And so Canadians are spending more money uh, servicing their debt and have less money left over at the end of the month as a result. We're consistently seeing that women are more concerned than men. They're more concerned about inflation, more concerned about interest rates, more concerned about uh, holiday spending, more concerned about putting food on the table. And that's been very consistent every time we ask these questions. Um, and I, I think if we if we also look at another demographic, and there's a lot of overlap here, it's parents. Uh, parents have heightened concern about all of these things as well. And, you know, women are, are more likely to be single mothers than men are to be single fathers. They, they, um, it's disproportionate. Uh, and I think that may be one of the reasons why we're seeing a uh, heightened concern. We also know that there's a, a gender a pay gap in this country. Women generally make a little bit less than men do. Uh, so they have less money. And as a result, uh, higher interest rates uh, and uh, uh, higher rates of inflation uh, have uh, an even more significant impact on uh, on women than they do on men certainly um, Canadians are taking their their cues from the from the media and and uh, you know our leaders who are being covered in the media um, and I think what they do understand is that people experience things very differently and so the conservatives can say well it's all the liberals fault and liberals can say don't worry we've got this under control you know we're, we're, we're hoping to avoid a, a recession but at the end of the day what people know is how much money they have left in their pocket at the end of the month and uh, you know our research through MNP, for example, the MNP debt index is showing that Canadians consistently have less money in their pocket at the end of the month than they did before. And uh, interest rates have a lot to do with that. Inflation has a lot to do with that. So, uh, you know, Canadians, uh, I think, uh, are saying the experts can tell me what's what's going on, you know, overall, but maybe they don't fully appreciate what's happening with my own financial situation. And the feeling is that. Canadians' personal financial situation is deteriorating.